Hi guys, it's me Lewis and we are back with more sanitarium and we're going to kick things where we left off and we are now in a morgue of some kind. Um... The doors have frozen shut. The doors have frozen shut. Okay, so how is that? A woman's corpse. I'll be in a bag soon too if I don't get out of here. Alright, uh, can I access the door? Need to get out of here. That door is the only way. Beware, Max. The closer you come to reaching your goal, the more danger you are in. Someone seeks to keep you here with us forever. One who will do anything to keep you from leaving the asylum. Why? Who conspires against me? I can only say that if you leave, it will mean this person's downfall. But your time is short. Waste not fruitless questions on me. The air grows thick with frost, and soon I must return to my eternal slumber. It, it, it's getting cold. The temperature is dropping. They want you to sleep, like me, forever. F forever You must escape this cold tomb, for there are other secrets frozen in time. Right, okay, so more, uh, more cryptic hidden messages on that one. Must open the door and get out of here. Yeah, no surprise, it's another puzzle. Okay, uh, what do I do here? Um, right, so by the looks of things, I've got to get these gears to connect. Um, I'm guessing this, maybe? Yes, alright, okay, alright, got it now. I have to do it like several more times or something. <laughs> Hope not. Hey, there we go. Oh, sweet. Nice. Uh, so it opens over here. Yes, there is. Oh. What the hell are you doing? Excuse me? Cutting my research department in half? Pulling most of my funding, despite the fact that my department, my research, is coming remarkably close to a cure. Oh, your research. May I remind you that the Mercy Foundation was created around the success of my hope drug, not vague promises of a cure? Rather than wasting resources on an entirely new path, you need to channel your energies toward making the hope drug better. I thought that a few cutbacks would communicate this to you. Maybe you're not as bright as I thought. You know? I think I figured you out. You're not interested in a cure. You just want hope to bring you more prestige, more money. Oh, you smart bastard. Give me back my department, otherwise I'll... I'll leave. I'll take my research with me and find a company that's more concerned with finding a cure than filling its pockets. I... I can't believe that your opinion of me is so low, Max. We're friends. You're blowing the whole thing out of proportion, taking this personally. Your sister didn't die of DNA V, Max. I'm... Uh, I apologize. No, it, it's all right. Those cutbacks are based solely on existing statistics. The truth is that it's difficult to measure the success of your research against the proven methods of the HOPE treatment. Look. You don't have to leave Mercy to continue with your project. I'll look over the numbers again. We'll work something out. What does it mean? Huh, so it sounds like to me that, uh, that Morgan was was, uh, was manipulating and gaslighting the whole situation of trying to prevent um, 
max from from creating a cure in order to increase the company's profits. Because he knows if they if they uh, if they did find a cure, then what else does the company have to value? Nothing. An empty brass urn. And somehow, that, and somehow that seems to be the only sprite in this room uh, that actually stood out. Um, is there anything else we can here? One more one. The number three is written on this page. In this carving, the sun in the valley represents a king on his throne. A small circle at the bottom of the hieroglyph symbolizes the king's subject and the world at his feet. Looks like there was a picture, but it's been ripped out. Someone wrote the number two here. The sunrise figured largely into Aztec culture. Number four is written here. Aztec culture emphasizes visual components. Thus, the image of an eye wide open is repeated often in wall carvings. Nice oak desk. Sturdy. I need something to bust through this wall. Hmm, probably have something like another sledgehammer, maybe. A book of matches. Look, 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 Andy. Dr. Morgan has an iron bust of himself. <laughs> Pretentious. <laughs> okay, we can take that too. Yeah, usually, usually busts are heavy as hell, especially the metal ones. Uh, hmm. Can I use this on the wall? Yes, I can. Thanks. All right, cool. All right, getting close. Come on. An iron bust of Morgan. All right, one more hit. Yikes! I smell gas. Must be an open valve nearby. Pipe valve. A pipe U joint. We're going to keep that. Uh, there's nothing else for me in here. I don't think. Nope. Okay. All right. So that's the office done. Uh, let's see. All right. So I'm guessing this. I guess where they where they where they burn the corpse. I think. The tag on this one says nine. The tag on this body says. Two. The tag on this one says nine. There are no names in these tags. This just says six. I'm guessing that's a code for something. Let's see. The tag on this body says two. Two nine. The tag on this oh, body no. says seven. Two seven nine. The tag on this six. one says okay, nine. That. How am I supposed to get there? Lord knows how many bodies have gone into this oven. This isn't working. A bunch of tools in here. A monkey wrench. Can I use this to, uh... A monkey wrench. Fix this? I'd really love to, but I won't. What's the point? What's the point? Okay, alright. Alright, so... 2796. Alright, I've got to remember that. That's that's definitely a code for something. That break off. The sculptor conveniently forgot her shirt. What's she holding? The sculptor conveniently forgot her shirt. What's she holding? The sculptor conveniently forgot her shirt. What's she holding? This a monkey wrench. That's not gonna happen. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I use this? An imp That's not gonna happen. I can't use that here. Alright, no, no, right, that'll work. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, well, it's down here. Even the trees appear to be insane. Even the trees appear to be insane. The stone says, Eric R, get to work, you maggots. 
an empty brass urn. Well, this isn't working. There's a nice warm beam of light coming through. There's a nice warm beam of light. I can't do that. Okay. Alright, so the tree blinked, but I can't talk to it. Uh, Match it. That's not gonna happen. Right. Okay, so I can't do anything out here, so we have to go back into the small area here. Maybe something else. Hmm. Matches. No, I don't think so. No, okay. I've got to get that oven on somehow, but uh, but. There's one I'm missing out here shortly. This needs... Ah, there we go. Alright. Alright, now, let's go back over here and see if this works. How do I start up this gruesome thing? Hmm. Uh huh. Tag on this body says two. This needs to carry one of the bodies in here, I think. Tag on this body. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ah, we can use the, the, uh, the urn to put the ashes. There we go, alright. Oh, hold oh, on, what's this? Yeah. Hope this isn't anyone I know. A glass eye. Don't think the owner will miss it. Glass eye. Hmm. Okay. And I think we have to give the urn to the statue. Brass urn filled with ashes. I'd really love to, but I won't. Okay. All right. Do I give the urn to the tree? Press. That won't solve anything. The eye, maybe? No, there must be a better way. Okay, um... I can't use that here. That won't solve anything. Difficult to read. Isn't there an old trick about rubbing soot on worn carvings to make them legible? Ah, hold the phone. Brass urn. How am I supposed to get there? Difficult to read. Difficult to... Ah, okay, right, so, right, so ashes won't work on that. Um. Headstone. Stephen B. Composed as a musician. Now... Decomposing. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. Is that, is, that, is that a reference to one of the developers, then, who worked in this game? God, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, hang on, can I talk to the tree, then? The tree? Oh. Uh... Matches. Matches. I can't do that. Idea. What's the point? Not a good idea. Not a no. There, I can't do that. The tag on this one says nine. There are 
are no names on these tags. This just says six. Hmm. I'm out of a couple crossroads now. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know where else to go. Um, I'm Interesting gonna... style. At least it's not a gargoyle. Oh. Hmm. This door is locked. A monkey wrench. I'd really love to... It's right in this grave I'm missing. Hold on. Brass. Brass Earth. Whoops. What was I thinking? Nope. There's a nice warm beam of light coming through. Huh. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely out of crossroads and I'm running out of time. <laughs> uh ooh. I can't talk to the tree. Um I'm supposed to do some of that with that pipe as well, but for what? Hold on. Uh, I can't do that. Oh, okay. Alright. Um well, this is actually kinda of tricky. Easy puzzle to solve for the door, but this is actually gonna be a lot more difficult than I expected. Um Dr. Morgan has an iron bust of himself. Pretentious. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Uh, missing something here. A bunch of tools in here. A monkey wrench. No, there must be a better way. There's nothing behind there. Let's, let's see if we can try and carry one, one of the bodies again. The tag on this one says nine. The tag on this body says two. There are no names on these tags. This. Oh, hold on. This pipe is cold. Ah, hold the phone. Alright, oh, silly me. A monkey wrench. Oh, I've such a fool. I can use the U-joint pipe. Pipe? To connect to this. That ought to defrost this whole building. Oh, there's someone in there. It feels much warmer in here. This drawer is empty. Not from here. How am I supposed to get there? Oh, oh, you idiots. Oh, it... Someone's alive in there. An old man. He looks cold. Who are you? My name's Arthur. Arthur Patrick. Yes, that's it. What are you doing in the drawer? Last, last thing I remember, I was taking a nap in the courtyard, and then they were dragging me to some weird laboratory. On the rooftop? That could be. I don't know for sure it was raining. I smelled blood. Dr. Morgan was there. He, he looked at me and said, 
church and I was too damn old for his purposes. And I thought, I, I remember he, he was holding a human hand. And then I think I fainted. I, I, they must have thought I was dead. I, next thing I, I knew I was in that drawer. It scared all the hell. Being in that drawer is enough to scare anyone. Darn right. Dark and closed in. Terrible cold. God, that awful scratching. It was a bit chilly in there, wasn't it? Chilly? I damn near froze my ass off. Started to fall asleep. Must have dozed off until you came by. I. Did you turn up the heat? Yes, I did. Well, it's, it's nice here now. Thank you, Sonny. Scratching? What exactly was it? Can't say for sure. I just remember hearing these awful screeching and scraping noises nearby. Nearby where? Outside? Yeah, it's kind of disoriented in there, you know. It sounded muffled, but... I guess the sound was coming from another drawer. Morgan, he was holding a head? Swear, a stack of Bibles, I saw it. His arms were red with blood and he was swinging around the head as he was talking, kind of gesturing with it, you know. He was really yelling at the two orderlies of some patient got loose or something. I, I don't know more than that because so I fainted dead away at that point. Huh, interesting. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Matches. Oh. Now I just need some cigarettes. Not a good idea. Nah, but never. Alright, I'm gonna end it here, guys, so uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we'll oh. see you in the next video of Sanitarium. Oh, oh. Okay, guys? Oh. Peace out.